Hey guys, so welcome back. If you are new to this channel, well welcome, first of all. So this is my 2014 Porsche 981 Cayman S. And pretty much as the title says in the video, I'm just doing an oil change. So if you have a 981 or similar cars, I would assume are very close, but you can see how it's done and if there's any mess ups, at least it's me doing it so you can learn from that. So hopefully we won't have to worry about that and this will be a good video. I just went ahead and lined up pretty much everything I'm going to need other than like the main tools. But for sure I'm going to need 8 quarts of oil, so I got two fives. Um, also I went with the k oil filter. Um, this prices vary dramatically. I paid 15 bucks for this one. Um, also, there's these little, little washers that are going to go on the drain plug. Which are like maybe like a dollar or something from the actual Porsche dealership. I paid like five bucks from this. I got it online. It's an actual replacement drain plug with, there's actually one on there, but it comes with five washers. So that's pretty interesting. Whenever you do an oil change, you should replace your washer for sure. Um, and then there's a little tool for the oil filter housing. Um, this is highly recommended. Plus you need to torque it down later. So these are like five to 10 bucks. Um, a catch pan. This one has like a little raised yellow platform so I don't have to worry about splashing. And then this one I went ahead and got a spill mat. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and jack up the back of the car and pretty much get this thing ready to go. Alright, so just like any car, every time you pull out the oil drain plug in the bottom, if you don't open up the cap on the top, the oil's gonna slosh out, the air bubbles in there are gonna be kinda like making a slosh out and could get all messy. So what you're gonna do is just open up the top cap of your oil fill, and whenever you take off the drain plug, the oil, the air can pull in and it'll just make the oil flow right out nice and smooth and hopefully quick. So if you're watching this video, that's probably because you do stuff yourself and you're experienced. If you're not and you don't know where to pretty much fill up the oil, it's actually in the trunk. And if you don't know this stuff, it's fine because this is actually how you learn. A lot of people learn how to work on cars just by watching YouTube videos, so more power to you. But this cap on the right, you're going to twist it and then it just comes right off. So right there, there's the, uh, once I unscrew this, actually it's still pretty warm. Um, pretty much that's where you fill up the oil at. All right, so now that I have that open, whenever I unscrew the drain plug, the oil is going to be able to flow out nice and smooth. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick this funnel right in there so I don't lose it. All right, so I don't know how well I'm going to be able to film under the car, but pretty much here's the back exhaust where if you haven't seen my video, it's the uh, Fab Speed Super Cup Race exhaust. And I did a whole install video on it. It's super dirty because it rained recently. But to change your oil, you're going to go all the way up under here. And right here is actually the oil drain plug. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the oil spill mat just in case anything spills all over the garage floor. I wanna have a container on a nice mat that can then throw away if I need to. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and set up the container so that whenever the oil starts to drain, I can already have that good to go. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew the drain plug and then the oil in a few moments should start flowing out. All right, I'm just gonna loosen it with my hands now that I've pretty much gotten it pretty loose. Looks like I got that lined up pretty good. And there we go. Woo. All right, this is why you buy an oil spill mat because these gloves are covered with oil. But as you can see, the oil is, there we go. As you can see, the oil is flowing out nice and smooth. I got my little, my little pan pretty much lined up pretty good there. Got a little bit of oil spillage just from the initial. All right, so they say just let the car sit for about uh, 10, 15 minutes to make sure it's fully run through. Uh, that's if it's warm. If your car is cold, they say to leave it sit for an entire hour to make sure that all the oil runs out. Um, I'm probably going to wait about 20 minutes, and if it stops dripping, then I'm definitely going to go ahead and cap it back off. 
All right, so right now we're just down to like a little bit of a drip. So I'm just gonna wait a few more minutes. And then, all right, and then once it stops, I'm just gonna go ahead and swap out the oil filter. All right, so the oil is like almost done dripping. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cap that off here in a second, and then I'm just gonna show you where the oil filter is. Which oil filter housing is right there. It's a little black round circle. Um, or if you just kind of like look up through here, it's that black cylinder with the little ridges on it. So it's actually this thing right here. And this is where having this little tool definitely comes in handy. All right, so this is really tough to get to, but not only that, it's, it's screwed on there really tight. But I just got up under here, uh, put my adapter on, and I just barely was able to loosen it. Ooh, but this is in here really tight. But as you can see, I don't really have much room with the wrench. If I had an extender, I could definitely have the wrench down here. I could be, I could be swinging it like full rotation, but because I don't, um, that's definitely something I'm going to be looking into buying in the very near future, because that'll definitely come in handy. So this is definitely a great reason to have an oil drip mat. Oh, there we go. So the, so the oil filter was sticking up and it was actually stopping it from coming out. But All right, so I got the oil filter housing and the oil filter out. I'm just going to go ahead and just dump out a lot of the extra oil that's just sitting in here. Oh, look how dark and thick that is. Like, it's definitely needed changed. I'm just going to leave that sit there, just let any extra oil run out. But while we're here, there's my uh, nice Fab Speed exhaust with the carbon fiber. And I got the X-pipe sitting right there. Alright, so I got the oil filter housing off, got it, kind of flipped it over onto the drain pan and then just let all the oil run out. But there's this little rubber O-ring that goes around right here at the base of the threads. So I need to get that off before doing anything else. And luckily there's like a little, it's like a little groove I can be able to get in behind there. Might need to use something else to get that off. There we go. It's gonna work it up here. And there we go. All right, so the K&N oil filter I got came with a new one, which I'm just pretty much gonna slide right back in in the same exact spot. There we go. All right, so before I do anything else with the oil filter, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of oil inside the oil filter housing. There we go. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stick the uh, filter right down in there. It doesn't matter which way you put the, the filter in, but make sure it sits down nice and firm. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and take this. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right back up in the car. All right, so now it's time to put the oil filter housing with the oil filter in it and the new washer up into where it seats into the engine. And it's just going to go right up in here. I'm just going to get on there hand tight, and I'm going to go in with the tool and tighten it down all the way, which is pretty much as far as I can get hand tight. Also, I'm going to go ahead and clean up a little bit around here because there's a lot of oil that got all over stuff. So, if I don't clean that off, I'll start to drive away since I'm burning on here and just going to smell like burnt oil for a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put the tool back onto the oil filter housing. Get on there nice and firm. And I'm going to start ratcheting it back into place. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and start adding in the oil. So, I am pretty much used the Mobile One Zero W40, and this is what they pretty much recommend you to use. Alright, since I need to put 8 quarts in, I pretty much got to make sure I look at these little notches because they show you exactly how much is in there. I feel like one of the skims is some of those smaller bottles, so you'd get one of these big jugs and three smaller bottles. However, the smaller ones are like $10 each, 
This one was like $35 for five quarts, so. All right, just like that, I have two quarts left in this jug, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hold on to this for next time. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the uh, oil cap. Wipe some of that off there. Which that locks in place. And then I'm just gonna take this little cover and just go ahead and pop that right back on top. All right, so now that the oil change is done, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the car back down on the ground. I'm gonna start it up and just try to let it sit there and kind of cycle through some oil to make sure that everything's good to go. I'm gonna double check underneath to make sure there's no leaks, everything's fine. And then I can look at the onboard computer and just to make sure the car itself says that the oil level is just right. All right, so here's a cold start on a 2014 Porsche Cayman S with the Fab Speed Super Cup race exhaust. That's the pretty much just the cat back with stock headers and cats. Whoo, that's a lot. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this video and if it really helped you out, definitely go down, hit that like button down below, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, or if you want to see more how-to videos with my 981 Cayman, but I don't want to necessarily say a how-to video, but it's a, this is how I do it. So if you want to take my advice, then there you go. And if not, then that's fine. But, hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching.